Good morning, y'all. So I'm starting my 2023 It Girl daily routine. Now, everything not going to be all like in order of how I want it to be on paper. I'm pretty much just going to go by what I feel to flow during the day and do it in that order. And I would love for y'all to go on this journey with me. And basically, I like that the fact that I'm having to blog this because it's like y'all are going to have to hold me accountable and I'm practicing it as I'm recording it and it is going to become a part of my 2023 daily lifestyle. So tune in. All right, y'all. So it's my first time doing one of these voiceovers, but here we go. All right, so first step in my it girl routine is to make up my bed every single morning, but I've been doing it anyways. I've been doing it before 2023 started. Be freaking for real. Oh, yeah, and y'all see my son over there. He be sleeping with me a lot of days, so, yeah. <laughs> All right, can't be an it girl without God. God is the source. And every day, I'm going to make sure I connect to source first thing in the morning after I make my bed. Gots to know I gots to do my child's hair every single morning. But let's talk about praying a little bit more. When I pray, I always make sure I ask God to give me the strength, the boldness, the courage, the resources, the material, the people, and the favor to become who he needs me to become and do what he needs me to do. Y'all know kids do not stop moving when you do their hair. My daughter has asthma, has to get a breathing treatment in the mornings. And now I got to take my son to school. If you haven't heard me say this a thousand times before, me and Beyonce have the same birthday. So every morning I'm bumping the Beyonce Renaissance album on my way to take my kids to school and back. Or I'm listening to something spiritual. In this case, today we was listening to Beyonce. And y'all know that I would get my video flagged if I was to play the music. So that's why I'm talking over it right now. Otherwise, I'd be letting y'all listen to Break My Soul With Me. All right, so every morning I go to Wing Fingers and I get a bowl of grits with Blanco cheese and a Jimmy Dean sausage patty, and it'd be so freaking good. So that's what I'm about to eat. it only be $4.38, and they take my $4.38 every single morning. Like, I have to have it. Have to have it. Then I just can't eat it. I got to eat it like a toddler. I got to break my sausages up in little bitty pieces and mix it with the cheese and grits. <laughs> and this is my apartment complex gym. I'm so blessed that nobody was in there today because I wanted to do my filming. And this is where I'm going to be going to go to the gym. Now, when I started uh, my workout, I want y'all to know Beyonce Renaissance album and what I like to call the Drake Renaissance album was playing. Um, it's his last album that sounds kind of like Renaissance music. I love that album. Drake and Beyonce are my two favorite people in the whole world. I'm a huge Drake fan, and nobody better not ever disrespect them around me. But anyway, back to, you know, got to put my waist trainer on me so my waist can be snitched. Today I decided to do arms, butt, and legs. No app today. And, baby, I'm still feeling this today. Still feeling it today. And then you know how you get in there and people already have stuff set to where you think it worked for you? No, boo. Y'all see how it's going much easier? now? I reset that thing. Because, no, I don't know what y'all thought this was. Trying to put me with 67 pounds for bicep curls or whatever that's called. Uh -uh. Get somebody else to do it. Yeah, but you can't be a it girl without a workout routine. I'm going to be working out every day, swapping. I also pick some days just to do yoga and stretch, and that'll be my workout and the 30-minute walk around my apartment complex as well. You ain't got no cash. You ain't got no dollars. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. Um, Why is this one going backwards like that? Mm, some stranger things going on right there. Uh, that's the machine that got my legs hurting right now today, y'all. I swear my legs is killing me. I hurt to stand up, sit down, walk. All that.
I honestly didn't think it would be as fun as it was to record all this, but this was so much fun. It made working out even funner. I was like, oh, I'm actually doing it. Like, I seem to make it so hard, and it's not. Oh, my God, it's glitching again. Like, what is happening? Mm -mm. This giving demonic. <laughs> Is this my camera? Like, I don't understand. Okay, so this is my workout to get rid of them cooking arms. I don't know where this little arm fat came from at the bottom of the arms, but I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's giving cooking arms, and I don't even be much cooking like that, so I don't even know where they came from. It seemed like they came within three months. I just had big old arms, and so them got to be the first to go. I do them arm workouts every day. We're not going to miss the day for that because, mm -mm. Okay, so after I finished my arm workout, I took a little break, got me some water, text my boo-boo, and um, got back on this machine again for another 10 minutes. Like, what? is going on it's giving satan satanic demonic i think the time lapse just don't want me to be great because i'm going oh so fast on the machine and i got it on time lapse to the point where it must just be reversing i don't know oh i had to get you know what look at that thing thing yeah i act like i lost five pounds after that workout like okay that's enough Trying to make sure I got me a good angle. I actually stopped and took some photos for my thumbnail after this, too. This, our outside gym. this is the outside gym in my apartment complex. I just wanted to show it to y'all. If the sun not shining too bright, I'll go out there and do the like reverse push ups on that machine. On the other side, we got the um, actual push up bar in three levels. So you could do like 10, 10, and 10 for three reps. Um, go over there, you got the, it's kind of like a step climber, I guess I would say. You jump, do the jump up and down and use it as a stair climber. And that's kind of like a squat, um, squat part. And then, um, that's my favorite part, the little ab thing thing where you just swing your legs up and down. I love that. And then we got the pull-up bar, which I'll never do, so we could just scroll on past that real fast. Well, and then we got my tennis court as well. All right, so we back at the hen house, and I'm about to get ready to get into my reading because I'm tired and I want to do something chill. So I get to start it on reading my books. Um, the first book I read is The Law of Attraction. I always read me a few pages out of there every day. What? <laughs> I be tripping. I be tripping. But yeah, this is me reading a book. Um, This is actually getting me just getting content of me to read a book because, oh, this book right here. This is the book on how to get a man to do anything you want without actually nagging him. And how do you get what you want about a man without, like, losing yourself, how to keep control of yourself. The girls we get keep it on this book. This book is the book. Um, I call that my city girl book. And mm -mm, can't nobody play me. Can't nobody run no game on me when I got that book. And most importantly of all, I actually did sit up here and read the chapter Psalms 25, um, King James, my new King James Version Bible. I always read the Bible at some point today. Um, unless God give me a passage to read, I just always go to um, Psalms 25 in the Bible, which is a prayer by David that I just love. And so I actually sat up there and I read it. I wanted y'all to see it was highlighted for some reason so y'all can know it's real. But read your Bible. Read your Bibles. Hmm. Maybe I should have put this on time lapse so it could go a little bit faster. Do 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 do
Do do do do do do do do do do do do do do I know you better get out of my face Out of my face Out of my you better get out of my face Out of my face Out of my face Alright so after that I decided to do some cleaning um it's me my mom and two kids and my mom is a hoarder and my kids are wild animals. Um, so I decided to go in the kitchen and start my cleaning for the kitchen. And yeah, I have to clean up every single day. Well, everyone has to clean up. Everyone should clean up every single day. Like, I realize that it is not something that you could do three times a week and keep it like that. Well, at least not in my house. But yeah. Okay, now that this is all nice and clean, I'm about to go ahead and cut my ginger up so I can make me some real ginger tea. If y'all don't know, ginger is good for everything. It kills everything. It heals everything. And so I'm just about to do this. All right, so as you can see, all I did was throw a couple pieces up there. I'm going to let it bring to a boil till it's boiled a lot. And the ginger has gotten into it. It don't matter if you use a bunch of pieces when you're making ginger tea. Because it really doesn't, um, like, get strong. Like, as if you were to juice it or something like that. It just, it tastes like, like that. Arizona tea tastes like light and gingery. So, yeah. And then I'm going to add some other teas to it. Such as. Then I'm going to put it in my mason jar. Got to put some green tea. I also need green matcha. And I normally put um this in there, so yeah. Alright, now that this house is smelling like ginger a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and then I'm gonna put my tea bags into here and let them sit essence of life is to communicate love i'm just gonna let these chill out until this is burning. Okay, now my ADHD is kicking in and I'm playing puppeteer with the freaking tea bags. Definitely make a mess every single time. Every single time. Alright, so I got my ginger tea, I got my journal, my dear God got me a prayer journal, and it always has a verse on the new page, and dear God got me a prayer, I love that journal. <coughs> my bad, right here I'm eating cucumbers, and I'm drinking my tea, and it was so good, y'all, it was better than I expected it to be, I think it was the best that I ever made it before. And y'all can see it all over my face. Um, in the next few clips, I'm just about to journal. This tea's so good. And it's about to clean my whole body. And it can be some focus and some energy. Y'all, y'all gotta do it exactly how I did. All right, y'all, so I done started my journaling. So when I journal, I do it a little bit different. Like sometimes I do a regular journal but today in this journal, I'm journaling as if everything I already want has came to my desire and I received it already. So I started my journal like, oh my God, I just moved into my new dream apartments. They're so luxurious. I love being here. It makes me feel amazing. Like that's something that you should do like that I learned in the law of attraction because it makes you feel the feelings felt as if what you had was already received and that's a big law of attraction and so i mean they're like um 
I I love my wonderful, loving, attentive, gentle, patient, kind, amazing husband. He has all the fruits of the spirit. I can't believe I'm living the life that I want to live. And then here we go. I also started on my chicken wings, y'all. I did my chicken wings. All right, y'all. So that was the end of of my It Girl Routine Day. It was a very productive day. I enjoyed it very much. Um, That was, honestly, that was a lot of work. Honestly, people trying to act like content creating is not a job. That was a whole job. Not to mention the fact that I'm finna go edit this video. So, thank y'all for watching. Please go subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the bell. And leave a comment. And tell me if you enjoyed it and what you thought. Thank y'all. I'm not quite sure why I'm here or what I'm doing. But there's a reason.